of Information and Culture and APC leader in Kwara State, Alajilai Mohammed, has actually dismissed as untrue the postulation in certain quarters in Kwara State that the real issue in the state was that of religion and ethnicity, saying the issue in Kwara State has nothing to do with ethnicity and religion, but about better life for the people and good governance in the state. The minister, speaking at a sensitization program for APC women leaders for the forthcoming 2019 elections, stated that the election would not be determined by ethnicity or religion, but on how the state was governed in the last 40 years. This is season of politics, and um, everything goes. We are therefore calling on our people to be aware of those who are trying to sell snake oil to them. As a Kobula, I want you to do the right thing. I want you to do the right thing. I want you to do the right thing. Only pay a bottle one day, you only boy, senior. Only bottle one day, you only a marae go. No fair crown for the rule. You run like you. The issues that we are concerned with here in Quarra State has nothing to do with religion. Nothing to do with ethnicity, nothing to do with religion. It's about good governance and better life for our people. These elections, especially in Kwara State, will not be determined on the basis of ethnicity, religion, or gender. The main issues here have to do with how our state has been governed in the last 40 years. Alajila Muhammad alleged that some of the mafians have cornered the commonwealth of the people in the state in the last 20 years. Hence, the need for total liberation of the people from them. The minister asked the people, to ask their political opponents some pertinent questions on road construction, provision of bybone water, and to also account for the bailout fund it received from the Buhari administration. What has happened in those 40 years to the Commonwealth? We are talking about A mafia that has cornered our collective wealth. In 40 years, where are our roads? Where are the infrastructure? How can they justify the huge resources that are put to the state? And like they say, if you follow a path for so long, and it leads you to nowhere, won't you try another path? That is why we say today in Quara Central, in Quara North, in Quara South, Oto Alaji Muhammad urged the women to go all out and counter all the lies of their political opponents in Kwara State and canvass vigorously for the APC because the first coming election is about issues. In our campaign for the first coming elections, we have been proudly showcasing what the federal government has achieved since we assumed office in 2015. And that is the way to campaign. When they come to you, Ask them how many kilometers of road have they tied in Kwara State. Ask them why the people have no portable water to drink. 
ask them why workers have not been paid. Ask them why the quality of life in our state is one of the lowest in the country. If they tell you that President Buhari is the reason why they have not performed, ask them what did they do with the several billions of Naira in bailouts they received from the federal government. Ask them why they could not pay workers' salaries despite getting bailouts and Paris Club reform. They claim they are helping the state to have sought to obtain workers' salaries. Remind them that they are only returning some of the money they have stolen. And they are doing so now out of panic. Ask them why they use their position to sabotage national budget year after year with judgment of the people. These are the issues that will dominate this campaign, not those things by moonlight. You, our women, our mothers, our wives, our sisters, and our children, you are the closest, closest to the grassroots. We therefore urge you to go out there and counter their lives. Don't allow them to muddy the waters. These elections will be about issues, not about who can engage in the wars of most lady. Earlier in her welcome address, at the sensitization program, the APC Women Leader in Kwara State, Ajia Ramat Abolaji, stated that the readiness of the women to work passionately for the sources of the party in the forthcoming election is not in doubt. She, however, pleaded with the women in all the 16 local governments in Kwara State to vote massively for the APC governorship candidate and other candidates of the party in all the elective positions. The importance for today's occasion should not be lost on all of us. Statistics have shown over the years the women have the largest voting population in Nigeria. Therefore, the theme for this program, sensitizing for our APC women leader for the 2019 general election is important in many regards. However, the general and important objective is to make sure that our party women leaders are highly crazy. In the presentation of the guest speakers, Dr. Sadat Becky, a senior lecturer of Mascom Department, University of Ilori, and Hajia Miro Mustafa, former general manager, Radio Kwara, represented by Alaja Tawa Yusuf, they both urged the women to learn to support each other to enable them to make a remarkable impact within the political system. They charged the women to complement the efforts of the men for the future of their children. The well-known fact that regardless of who heads an institution, especially, let me take us to the home front, it is a common axiom that we say if men are the head, women constitute the neck. So that means that, but irrespective of the position we occupy, we play very significant roles. In the history of Nigeria, women have been known to play very valuable uh, roles. We all remember the Aba women riots of the pre-colonial period. How women resisted the forcing of payment of taxation on them. How they went about from one house to the other, requesting for the cap of corrupt leaders in their societies. This means that women play a surveillance role in the society, and the same goes for their role in politics. In politics, we are supposed to ensure that things are done correctly. No wonder many people fear women leaders. They believe that when a woman heads a unit or an institution, the woman is going to be very strict. The woman is
is not going to tolerate nonsense. The woman will ensure that things are done the way they should be done. It and means there are certain roles women are expected to play in political life of a country. Now, let us relate this to our roles in ensuring victory for our great party, the APC. We all know that in this part of the world, women's participation in politics is very limited and is far cry from what obtains in other climes where democracy has been in operation for centuries. Meanwhile, we have witnessed quite a number of women in Nigeria who have made their marks in fields that were hitherto regarded as exclusive preserves of menfolk. The late Queen Amina of Zaria, Mrs. Olufumlai or Ransom Kuti, among others, who are too numerous to mention. We all know that in the society, women are the custodians of the familial bond tradition and heritage, a combination which is needed in effectively influencing every member of the family in making his electoral decisions. The main and immediate aims and objectives of our great party is to come out triumphant in the forthcoming general elections. This calls for aggressive mobilization and canvassing, and the onus is on us, the women, to try and convince our husbands, children, and even neighbors on the need to join the noble party that has come to change Nigeria for the better and move to the next level. But remember, they say charity begins at home. This sensitization program had in attendance the APC chairman, Kwara State, Honorable Bashir Polariwa, prominent APC stars in the state, party faithfuls like Dr. Mrs. Farida Dankaka, and a host of other prominent party supporters in the state. Uh,